Hey everyone, it's Tyler from Zephyr Epic here, and today we are taking our first look at a box of 2023-24 Upper Deck AHL. It is a 12 card per pack, a 12 pack per box product. Uh, you find generally one autograph per box. I think it's like 12 star rookies, 12 uh, other inserts, and then two parallels. The parallels this year are American theme. There's, uh, I think, stars out of 17 and then stripes out of 76. So yeah, overall, uh, we're gonna spend pretty much this entire video talking about why these products exist, what you're looking for in them, and whether or not, you know, it's something that you might be interested in. Cause they are very, very, very niche products. Typically the main people you see collecting them are people who are hyper-focused around a specific player in a set or people that like that specific team because well, this is literally the only AHL product that comes out in a given year. And uh, oftentimes it can actually be your first look at some players. Like for example, uh, Olin Zellweger doesn't have a ton, like he has CHL stuff, but this is your first look at him in NHL stuff. And in other years prior, like uh, Yuri Coolidge, for example, is a good example as this box just doesn't want to pop nicely. Um, would like his first actual trading cards would have been in a, uh, in AHL, so in a given year, sometimes, you know, you'll find those top rookies in here before you find them in their NHL product. However, this year, that's not really the case. The main player you're looking for out of this, I guess, is Logan Stankoven, but he already has some cards in Synergy anyway, so I don't know, and he has CHL cards as well, so it's not like he's lacking from the cards front. So yeah, anyways, first look at it. I kind of torn on what the design looks like. Okay, so the design is a lot more like what it typically is. It is a very basic kind of faux retro design. Um, that OPG kind of card stock, but yeah, overall, you're kind of just looking for those. If you're looking from like what to collect that's gonna be valuable from it, you're looking for those players that are don't have a ton of stuff and are top prospects. So um, kind of look along the way. So here's a throwbacks. This is a very uh, unique looking insert. It is bright orange of Jeffrey Veal for the moose. Uh, so then here's our first star rookies. It is Marco Casper. But yeah, generally there's some pretty good star rookies that you can collect in them. And this year, unfortunately, just like for the majority, they're not the best, I would say. Um, or they already have NHL cards. Again, literally like the main one you're probably looking for is Logan Stankoven, but he also had some cards come out in Synergy. So like, eh? There's Olin Zellweger as well, but he also has CHL stuff. So I don't know. It's just kind of cool to go through and see what players are on prospects. And again, there aren't a ton of AHL cards made. So uh, if you do like your AHL team or your team's players or prospects, and you just kind of want to have a fun, cheap rip, this is always a good option for you. But Borgo just got traded actually. Uh, Nylander. There we go. RC Baines. That's actually nice for us locally. Uh, big fan of that one. So here's attendees. This is another insert. Um, overall, not quite a big fan of this design, but one of the best goalie prospects out there in Jesper Wallstadt. Keep your eye out him for him next year. Uh, very big fan of his game. We'll put that in, I guess, in the insert and a star rookie as spot check. But very, very like kind of basic card design. Um, nothing really too fancy. Again, I wish there was like maybe like a little bit more time spent on some of the insert design. And um, in previous years, you see it like foil parallels and stuff that look kind of cool, but this year it looks like those don't exist. So Isaac Rosen had a Young Guns and Extended. There's Nick Patan. That's a player I was pretty high on back in the day, but he's carved out a nice eight, um, AHL career. So Hot Shots of Fabian Lysel. This is essentially just another insert set of uh, players that have good shots. So yeah. Lysel is a former Vancouver Giant, had a pretty good, pretty good AHL campaign. So it might be a, always kind of one of those players that's brought up in the top Bruins uh, trade proposals. Here's a Topi Nimala star rookie for the um, Leafs or Marlies. So that's always kind of, you know, nice to get one. And then our autograph is a Ruslan Ish Ishikov for the Bridgeport Sound Tigers. Now they just switched to the Fisherman logo. So that's kind of actually pretty sick, but... Um, yeah, autographs are very basic sticker autographs, um, pretty much standard for what you'd expect. Uh, again, like I mentioned, I do kind of miss the days of like in the game heroes and prospects where you get like CHL and, um, a whole, there's a Connor Zeri, by the way, um, a whole bunch of like the 
random players from random leagues. Uh, you get CHL International, some AHL in there. And it's just kind of always a fun little mix. So uh, it kind of brings back some of those memories. But you get to go through and see some players. Uh, hot shots of Maverick Bork. Uh, Skylar Brindamore on the uh, Star Rookies. So nice. I mean, bloodline player there. Uh, Brandon Brisson, Bergren, Simon Nemich. Again, he had a star rookie, I believe, last year in this product. So um, it can be your first time to get a look at some of the players. And for the most part, like that's kind of where its strength lies as a product for like a value standpoint. From a fun standpoint, again, it's a cheap rip. It's You're not expecting a ton of value. So don't go into this being like, oh, I'm going to get a ton of money back. It's just kind of fun. Uh, we got Veal on the first one. HL throwbacks of Malot. And then, hey, I mean, one of the best star rookies to get probably from this set and Shane Wright. So not too upset about that. I actually think he's uh, going to be one of the players that you want to look at behind over the summer. Again, kind of perfect criteria there. Coming up from the AHL, having played a couple years under Dan Balsma. We got uh, Stripes coming up here. But yeah, played a couple years under Dan Balsma. Dan Balsma is going to be coaching the Seattle Kraken. He's going to get lots of opportunities. So wouldn't be shocked to see him do good. Uh, Joshua Roy on the Hot Shots, star rookies of Tristan Allard, and Nathan Todd, I believe this is the Stripes number to 76. Yeah, so numbering just up in the side here. Kind of actually hard to see, 40, 41 of 76. And then Adam Cracknell. Daniel Gushin is another player that I quite like. Honestly, I'd like to see it, like, the Canucks trade for him. I think he's that kind of upside type player that... I would like to see them take a chance on. And here's another uh, stripe parallel. So, yeah, pretty much about it. But you get some looks at some players that just don't have a ton of trading cards yet. Here's Jet Greaves, Cole McWard, another local flavor for us, and a Hot Shots to this one is to 99. So the Hot Shots stripes are a little bit higher number than the base, but 99 of course in Kulamans. And yeah, and generally speaking, again, it's, it can be your first chance to get a look at some of the like top rookies that are up and coming, but this year it just didn't really line up because most of the good ones just end up getting, uh, have already had young guns or got them an extended type of thing. So, yeah. uh, Dustin Wolf on the attendees and hey, I mean, that's kind of the one reason that you actually opened up this product. So happy to get a stank oven. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Honestly, pretty happy with the box. Got the one rookie that I'm looking for from it. Our autograph was like, eh. But always fun to kind of look through the different players and see all the different jerseys. Very basic card design. Again, it's nothing special. It's definitely one that like, if you're looking to pick up a player or two or you just have the itch to rip a box for cheap, it's always like an, it's an option, but your value back isn't always going to be there, you know? So throwbacks of Bokanji Imama and then Leo Luf on the star rookies. There's an Askarov, a Keel Thomas. But yeah, three packs to go here. Again, very like quick rip, very, I don't know, very basic. That's really the only way to describe it. You have a couple small insert sets. Uh, you have some, not a ton of parallels, and then you have your star rookies and your one autograph per box. So some Neil Simon, Dylan Gunther, Sheldon Rempel, Brandon Bussey again, Jesper Vickman, former Vancouver Giant. So again, Happy with that one. I'm, I'm happy with the rookies that we're getting. They're players that I tend to uh, tend to like or like have decent value um, or have seen play, and that's always fun for me. So it's a, it's a collector set, and again, some years it can be good, some years it cannot be good. But yeah. Cracknell on the AHL throwbacks, uh, Nathan Gaucher on the star rookies. It's always fun going through and seeing, you know, players who I thought would have been like better at the NHL level and just didn't really pan out. But, all right, final pack here. I don't think we have anything really in this pack left unless there's like an additional insert. There's a pod Colson, Will Cooley, Spencer Knight on the attendees. He's technically also a star rookies in this. And then Ryan Winterton. So another guy that just got his young gun in extended. Um, Adam Beckman. I, I hope Beckman takes a step this year. Uh, you know he's with the devils but yeah overall that is ahl in a nutshell um if you're wondering kind of why it exists it's just kind of a fun product and hey, who knows maybe eventually the um like the ahl is going to become more of a development pipeline for the nhl than what it actually is right now like it still is but 
you know, maybe you'll see more top prospects coming there and you'll get your SHL, your Finnish league, all your international and college players going there before the NHL. Uh, it would be cool to see them kind of change that and make that a bigger thing, just league perspective wise. But again, that might take a while. Yeah, two two stripes parallels: the Nathan Todd to seventy six and the Corson Kulemans to ninety nine. Um, got our star rookies. Got some nice stuff. Got the Archdeep Baines. I know he's very popular locally, so gonna be really happy having that at the show. But honestly, like this is legitimately what you're opening up the product for is the Stankoven. Um, as you can just see, my giant Adidas logo there. Uh, the Stankoven Star Rookies, and then our autograph was Ruslan Ishka, ah, Ishkahov. I'm messing that up, but yeah. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Uh, we'll be back next week for Allure. That one is 2023-24, so we'll be Bedard hunting again. But take care and have a good day.